Hello appraisers, this is Brandon with Spark for Appraisers and in this Synapse Spotlight video, we're gonna be covering a couple new features we just added, which is the ability to get results for not only quality, but condition as well. So let's go ahead and dive in and I will show you how we did it here. So essentially what we do is you'll see that for quality, we're only using the depreciated cost method. The, my prior choices here, these red dots are meant to show you what you as the user of Synapse have adjusted for in the past for the same quality property in the same zip code. Keep in mind, these are red dots are all just from me doing test videos, not actual real adjustments or anything. But anyways, the results here using depreciated cost, you can hover over this little eyeball icon here and you can see the actual quality results. So essentially what Synapse is doing is it's getting the cost to build your subject property, but it's doing it 12 different times, once as a Q1 plus rating, once as Q1, once as Q2 plus, Q2, and so on through all of them. And then all we do is we do the math on every possible full step change. So what I mean by that is we would look at say Q1 versus Q2 or Q1 plus versus Q2 plus. So a full step down in UAD quality rating and we basically take that number and subtract it from the other number. So as an example, if I'm looking at Q4 plus, then I can say, okay, what's the ad potential adjustment at least to pace, based on depreciated cost from Q3 or from Q4 plus to Q3 plus. And so that would be $233,629 minus 176,594, give or take the rounding there. And that result is, what is that? Right around 57,000 or so, so that's probably, yeah, right in here. So you can see as I hover over these dots, it shows Q3 to Q4 is 56,000, Q3 plus to Q4 plus is $57,000. And so that's that potential adjustment. Now you can use this one of two different ways. You can either decide on an adjustment and say, you know what, I'm just gonna say it's more towards the lower end here and call it $30,000. Or all of this data also goes into your work file that Synapse provides for you. So if you wanna make specific adjustments, so let's say, you had two properties that were both Q3, but one is like a Q3 plus, it's a better Q3 than the other, then you could just look specifically at Q3 plus to Q3, say, okay, that's right around $29,000, $30,000 and make your adjustment like that. But then maybe make a very different adjustment for let's say Q2 to Q3, which is, that looks like it's more along the lines of $75,000 looking at those numbers. So anyways, you can kind of use it how you want to, all the data will be there, it'll go in your work file. And then we also do this for condition as well. So you can just go in here, click add feature, find condition or quality. Let's do condition, add that in. And basically it's the same thing, but instead of building uh, or getting the depreciated cost for 12 different properties based on 12 different condition ratings, we do it, I'm sorry, 12 different quality ratings like you saw here, we do it on different condition ratings. And just as a side note, we also added some settings uh, for this that we didn't have before. So if I go to the, the depreciated cost settings, I can look at the UAD quality conversion settings. So this is basically how you are telling Synapse, okay, here's the quality rating I wanna use for Q1, for Q2, for Q2 plus. And then we also, and this has been there, but we also added it for condition. So now you can come in here and say, okay, for C1, I wanna use an effective age of zero. For C4, I want it to use an effective age of 23 or whatever it is, actually, I'm gonna change this to a 60 year lifespan and which is the normal one, this is the default. Uh, but you can change that to what you prefer. And you can also make your own if you don't wanna use 55, 60 or 70. Uh, but anyways, that's kind of it. You set it to what you want, you hit done, and then it will calculate everything based on how you prefer the effective age for each condition rating or the dwelling cost quality for each quality rating. So anyways, that's it. Hope you guys like it and we'll see you in the next one.